How y'all doing today? It's your boy Eat Right Guy, and for this video, I want to talk to y'all about omega-3 fatty acids. And if any of y'all haven't known that omega-3s are fatty acid that is essential um, to us humans, which means that we cannot synthesize them in our body or we cannot create them ourselves. We actually have to get them through our diet. And so omega-3s have many health benefits. Um, they act as an anti-inflammatory, uh, they improve your eyesight, they're vital for brain development and cognitive function, especially uh, with pregnant women um, and children. Also, some studies have shown that they can reduce your risk of heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. There are three types of omega-3 fatty acids. First is ALA, which stands for alpha-linolenic acid. Then you have EPA, which stands for eicosapentaenoic acid. And last you have DHA, which stands for decosahexaenoic acid. And like I said earlier, since omega-3s are essential, all three of these different type of omega-3 fatty acids are consumed in the diet. Um, so LAL is actually a shorter chain omega-3 fatty acids. So once they're consumed, they actually have to be converted to EPA and DHA. And so different foods that are high in LAL include walnuts, flax seeds, soybeans, as well as chia seeds. And the sources that are high in EPA and DHA include cold water fatty fish, things like tuna, salmon, sardines, as well as microalgae. So as a plant-based eater, I started eating a lot of walnuts. I would add chia and flax seeds to all my smoothies, thinking that I was getting in enough omega-3s. But on the contrary, when I started doing more research, I realized that I may be deficient in EPA and DHA. And that's because our bodies only convert about 12% of the LAL into EPA. So then I was in a dilemma because I don't eat any more fish and I'm not going to take any omega-3 supplements that are fish based so I started looking online and I realized that they actually have algae based omega-3 fatty acids and if you didn't know the way fish like salmon and tuna fish get their high omega-3 levels is because they eat the algae that's in their environment that's in the water so you have smaller fish that eat algae and they accumulate that EPA and DHA within their um, tissues and then you have larger fish that would eat those fish so it all starts with the algae so if you take algae supplements you're kind of cutting out the middleman and so I started looking around at different stores I've tried Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Walmart, Target and I could not find any algae based omega-3 supplements but they do have them on Amazon.com they have a wide variety so the supplement that I decided to take is called Avega 3 and it's 500 milligrams of omega 3's which is DHA and EPA in one tablet you just take one tablet or it's like a gel tablet per day and it's like thirty dollars for a two month supply um, they have various other brands of omega 3's this is the first one I tried they had a lot of good reviews and I haven't noticed any changes or anything. A lot of times when people take vitamins or supplements and they notice an instant change, it's probably a placebo effect. But if you're interested in that, um, click the link in the bio, especially if you're a vegan and you're kind of concerned that you may not be getting enough omega-3s because it's gonna take a lot of uh, walnuts and flax seeds and soybeans to actually convert to adequate amounts of EPA and DPA and DHA. So hopefully y'all found this video um, helpful. I hope y'all like the new quality. I'm still working on it and everything with the editing and y'all have a nice day.